what's up? What's up, y'all? Uh, I just had a bit of a, um, a long but decent day today. I celebrated my um, <clears throat> um, I celebrated my dad's 50th birthday, even though his birthday was on Thursday. But the party was held today because I think it was raining Thursday, so nothing could be done. So just got back like a good few hours ago and it was cool I actually had a decent day but I'm actually gonna tell y'all how working for the MBTA is because if y'all really want to make a good amount of money every hour then the MBTA is what I recommend but I'm not I'm not forcing any of y'all to work for them it's really just driving the bus or the train. You're basically being a train operator or a bus operator. You basically operate and drive the train and or bus. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna be telling y'all how working for the MBTA will be like because I'm gonna be working for them. So I just wanna tell y'all how it's gonna be. So, I got it up on my computer right now. I just gotta type it in. Like, I can just type in like how, like how the MBTA operates. Uh, how does the MBTA work? Um, it literally, it literally just says, I literally just typed in how does the MBTA work. They said at most subway stops, you can obviously use a Charlie card or a ticket at the fare gates. So, but that's obviously not what I'm looking for. I'm looking at how is it working for the MBTA. So, how is it working? Overall, it says it says the MBTA is literally a, a, a great atmosphere. Overall, working for the MBTA is a good job. The pay is good, and just make sure you get your work done, and the rest of the shift is easy going. Good job to start when young, with no responsibilities and no family life. Hmm. Well, pretty much, but, but you know, you still got family, obviously, so, so, yeah, obviously, the MBTA is a very, very decent paying job, actually, a great paying job, actually, um, is the MBTA a government job? Uh, the MBTA provides services <clears throat> in five different modes, boat not pictured because they got the um, commuter boats around the greater Boston area. The Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, MBTA, is the public agency responsible for operating most public transit services in Boston, Mass. So basically all the buses, all the trains, all the trolleys, all the service cars and service little type vans that y'all see out there. All those people are working for the T, so. How much do MBTA bus drivers make? And this, and there's a similar question is how much do MBTA pay per hour? Let's look at how much the bus drivers make. Uh, I think they just said yearly. So how much do they get paid? I think every year. So average MBTA bus driver yearly pay in the US is approximately 51,887 bucks, which is 50 which is 53% above the natural or which is 53% above the national average. And that's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. 
Salary info comes from nine data points collected directly from employees, users, and past and present job adverts on Indeed in the past 36 months. So basically, Job Indeed, where y'all can look up any jobs. So that's basically saying how much do MBTA drivers make per year, I guess. Uh, let's see, how much does the MBTA pay every hour? That's what I want to know. Okay, now the, now all of these are just estimates. All these are just estimates. But if they're actually actual payments you get every hour, then hell yeah. Now, the first one is the bus operator, obviously. And that is ranging from 18 to 38 an hour. Mm, not too bad. I don't like the 18, but I definitely like the 38. Uh, an actual bus driver. So I'm assuming a bus operator and a bus driver is the same thing. You basically operate the bus to make sure it's cool and all. And or... Oh, wait, wait. I think a bus operator is those people that you mainly see um, in their little tiny offices in most train stations. So they basically come to operate the bus to see if it's running, basically, or if it's cool and all set. So basically, a bus operator is basically those people that wear those white shirts, those yellow and greenish or orange type vests. They got walkie talkies and all. Those are the type of people I'm talking about. I think those people are the bus operators. And they basically check to see if the buses are up and running and all set. So I believe that's what a bus operator is. I kept thinking a bus operator was the same thing as a bus driver, but probably obviously not a bus driver gets paid 26 to 50 an hour that's really actually not too bad now they said 26 but be between 26 and 50 an hour so it could be somewhere at least in between so it can yeah it can really be somewhere in between um a desktop support technician i don't know who they are in the MBTA but they get paid 22 to 41 bucks an hour not too bad and a senior systems analysis um, 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 analyst I hope I said that right um, they get paid 36 to 82 an hour that is not freaking bad but I think the title that I'm going for is a bus driver because all this time I kept thinking the bus operator is the same as a bus driver. They operate the bus and drive the bus. That's what I thought. Until I realized about the type of people that I'm seeing out there that work for the T. They actually only operate the buses. They trying to make sure that the buses are all set. Nothing's wrong with them. To make sure, make sure that they're up and running. All of that. That's what a bus operator for the MBTA does. They just check the buses to make sure that they're good and all set, no problems. And then a bus driver is literally the person that literally drives the bus and does their key routes. So, yeah, those were the only two job titles that were mixing me up a little bit, but now I'm getting it now, so. All right. Uh... Let's see, what does an MBTA inspector do? Um, huh. Okay, that doesn't really say anything. It's too sophisticated, so I, that's why I couldn't, that's why I, I didn't say anything at that point. Are trains free in Boston? Hell no. You would have to pay at least like two and some change just to get on the on the train. Because you know those fare gates that y'all go through? Hell no, these trains ain't free. Except for the Mattapan trolley. Like, they don't even care if you don't tap your car or put money in the, in the fare machine. How do you become an MBTA train driver? 
you basically just have to apply online at mbta.com slash careers. And then boom. Um, or if the job you are interested in of the MBTA is not listed, you can sign up for job alerts and select drivers to be alerted of new op- of new opportunities. So, so if any job in the MBTA that you want doesn't appear, then you could sign up for alerts or, or whatever and just select drivers and hopefully they got the job you're looking for that involves you driving of some sort. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is bus driving stressful? Hell no. Nah. At least to me, it ain't. Depending, like, depending on what... To me, personally, if you was to be... Well, well, it just says bus driving. It doesn't say what type of bus driver was, whether it's an MBTA, school bus driver. It don't matter. Overall, a bus driver is literally is not a stressful job. It's pretty straightforward. Especially with the MBTA bus driver. That job is not stressful it's pretty straightforward because if you're familiar with the area if you're familiar with most bus routes you can do all of them with no problem i think the only stressful part is that you have to do at least maybe like at least like maybe four or five or six routes per day like hold on i gotta say i gotta see how many how many uh, how many MBTA bus routes well, well, how, well let me just look up how many bus routes well obviously there's 170 bus routes in in um, in the Boston area So, are MBTA buses reliable? The dashboard reports high reliability ratings for the subway and commuter rail and somewhat lower ratings for bus service. Bus services reliability is usually around 65 to 70 percent. And that's actually not too bad. You know, I want to say that's somewhat average. 65 to 70 percent that's pretty average so i'm pretty sure the mbta bus services are kind of real uh, is kind of um um reliable but um i guess people are are mainly going towards the commuter rail services actually and and the reliability for the commuter rail services are hovering around or just under 90%. So people think that the commuter rail is more reliable than the buses. And I guess I guess that kind of makes sense to a degree so that way you don't have to go through traffic. So I guess that obviously makes sense. Can you pay cash on MBTA buses? Hell yeah. How much is the bus fare? About 2 bucks. How much is the subway? Two and some change. M- more specifically, two forty. Uh, for Charlie cards, uh, for the one day pass, it's twelve and some change. More specifically, twelve seventy five. Uh, a weekly pass, which is the seven days, is twenty two fifty, or the monthly pass, which is ninety bucks. So 90 being the most. And and when I was a bit younger, I actually thought there was going to be like a yearly pass where literally every year you would have to update it. But there's really no yearly pass. The best pass you can get is a monthly pass. So if you want to get like a monthly pass, so it will start at the beginning of a month, like let's just say October 1st. And then, and then it will go through that entire month until October 31st. 
and then either on the 31st or or on the 1st of November, for example, you would have to put another 90 bucks in it. Same thing that goes for the one day, the seven, and basically the same for the one day and the seven day pass. So after one day, you gotta put in another 1275. After seven days, you have to put in another 2250. If y'all make that type of money, go right ahead. Like I said, <laughs> the tea is not free. They did make the 28 bus for free, but only until somewhere in November. So somewhere so somewhere late in November, that's when they'll put the 28 back to normal. They're only making it free. Um basically until 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 late November probably. Uh let's see. I'm trying to figure out how many bus routes. Um, yeah, yeah, but I think I might have to ask like an actual. I think I might have to ask an actual bus driver in person, because I don't think I'll be able to look up the answer online. I'm trying to see how many bus routes do these people do every workday. That is what I need to know. I also need to know the difference between part time and full-time working for the MBTA. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all need to possibly know that too if any of y'all are interested in working for the T. You can call it the MBTA or you can just call it the T. I just call it the T. So, if any of y'all are interested in working for the T, mbta.com slash careers, go on there and whatever interests you, go right ahead and do it. As long as you have your ID or license or any form or or any form of identification. As long as you have that, you're all set. And the MBTA does not involve you going to college in any way, shape, or form. All you need is to have either a high school diploma or a GED. So other than that, you're cool. You're good. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I guess this is more like a recommendation type video. If any of y'all are looking for good paying jobs, the MBTA is one of them. It is one of is literally one of the good paying jobs they got out there. So. Like I said, this is just a recommendation. I'm not forcing any of y'all to work for these. For, I'm not forcing y'all to work for these guys. But again, they pay well. I'm just recommending it. I'm just saying what they got going on. I think I also looked up on what the MBTA provides for you. So let me just quickly look that up. What the... I think I might be able to look it up on the actual website. That way I can see what they actually provide for you. Oh, and one oh oh and one other point. They say that once you work for the T, so if you're an employee for the MBTA, they actually give you guys free rides. 
So free rides on, I think, buses, trains. I think that's what they really do. They literally say this in this one little sentence. We even offer free public transit to all employees because we understand the benefit of leaving your car parked at home and reducing your carbon footprint. Pretty much. Oh. Oh. And this, and this is basically the benefits that you'll get once you work for the T. I'll quickly read it off to y'all right now. Uh, they would obviously provide y'all with, um, they'll provide y'all with um, health insurance, life insurance, long-time disability insurance, dental and vision insurance, competitive wages, They'll obviously give y'all paid vacation, sick time, holidays, flexible spending accounts, retirement plans, uh, education benefits, mass dot university training and development courses, tuition reimbursement program. Yeah, they actually got a lot of benefits out there for y'all. And basically, they got a lot of benefits out there for for people that are that are literally joining them. Paid time off. Um, you obviously get paid vacation time, paid sick time, paid holidays, non affiliated. I hope I said that right. Employees, the MBTA offers 11 paid holidays, a flitted or, or flitiated, however you pronounce that A word. Holidays are determined by your collective um, bargaining agreement. Okay. Yeah, and they basically tell you about spending accounts and this and that. Okay, tuition reimbursement. They basically just talk, they basically just um, tell you about certain stuff that you can enroll in, basically computer related and all. I think, I, um, uh, I think these have nothing to do with with obviously driving the buses. Um, eligible employees can take advantage of tuition reimbursement after six months of service, subject to availability and continuation of program funding. Yeah, well, there's actually a lot of stuff that I really do need to know about the MBTA period. So, those are basically the benefits that they're basically going to give me since I'm going to be working for them. But like I said, all I want to do is just drive the bus. That's all I want to do. I don't think I want to go through all that reimbursement type stuff or tuition and all that. I don't know if they're going to make me do all that because all I'm trying to do is just be an MBTA bus driver. That's it. I can tell that they're going to have me, you know, just doing... Um, some tests um, while I'm on the bus and all that and that's pretty much it I can't see them um, force me to do anything sophisticated that involves me doing something computer related or tuition um, related or whatever I hope they don't make me do that because I'm just trying to drive the bus that's it so but yeah that's the MBTA right there y'all so if any of y'all are interested just go on their website mbta.com slash careers and just go ahead and apply on there but that's only if you have your ID or driver's ID or whatever as long as you got an ID go right ahead and do it and as long as you have a license too because if you want to drive the bus then that's cool too if not then there are other positions that y'all can do on there besides being a bus driver you can be a bus operator they don't drive the bus they just operate the bus to make sure it's all set and cool and and basically any 
and basically any other position that they got on there. But like I said, this is just recommending, so I'm not I'm not telling y'all to apply for these people because I know the MBTA is not really the most reliable transit system even though the commuter rail is obviously more reliable or or the subway lines but <clears throat> hey I'm just recommending it it's y'all's life y'all can do whatever the hell y'all want with y'all selves when it comes to getting a job but that was just a recommendation they pay really good money so just recommend just just recommending but uh yeah but like I said the only info that that me personally since I'm gonna be an MBTA bus driver hopefully the only info that I'm trying to get is how many bus routes am I gonna do per workday and and basically how much will I get paid every hour if I was to work for them part time because if I was to work for them part time then I'm pretty sure that those reimbursement or or tuition type stuff that probably wouldn't apply to me because I'll be working for them part time but if you was to work for them full time then I guess those would technically apply but I just need to get that info from someone personally like a bus driver that I know and hopefully I'll probably update y'all in the um, in the comments or in the description so that way I can so that way y'all will get the idea too if any of y'all want to apply for the MBTA just any of y'all not all of y'all just any of y'all who are interested that wants to be a bus driver so again the MBTA is not a stressful job it really ain't as long as you know what you're doing, they're obviously going to give y'all training, and then you're all set. And yeah, you're all set. You'll be getting paid a lot. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all tonight. You know, hopefully y'all enjoyed, or at least I hope most of y'all did. Because like I said, it's just a recommendation type video. You don't have to literally take it. It's just something to keep in mind just in case if you can't think of nothing to do job wise but it's there so like it up if you did enjoy it subscribe if any of y'all are new <clears throat> and um, I'll see y'all in the next vid alright